Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. We are just going to get underway. So hang on here. I forgot you guys need to see the screen, correct? Just let me know if you see the screen right now. Can you see it? Just give me a yay or a nay if you can see the screen. Can you guys see the screen? Okay, just give me a yay or nay if you can see the screen. Yay. Okay, cool. Let's get started. Alrighty. Um, all right. So, welcome to the uh, intro to the Forex Algo trading using uh, the... Um, API for or um for for uh, Oanda. So let me just get this started again. All right, so let's cover what we're going to topic uh, cover here. Um, man, this thing I'm not having a good day today, as usual. All right, let me get that started. Okay, so let's cover the new topics. Um, first one we're going to cover is. Uh, data wrang wrangling in the Oanda REST API. Um, just in case you don't know, from a technical point of view, the Oanda API returns everything in, uh, in the REST uh, protocol. So if you're going to use something like what I'll be using is Python, you have to convert that REST API, which returns into a data dictionary, data type, and then we have to convert that into a data frame. So I'm going to show you how to do that in the first section. Second section is uh, interfacing with the data that you get uh, and convert it and interface it with the TA lib or the technical analysis library, all in Python again. The other big thing, uh, one of the big features that you get with a Wanda, I uh, can't really say if a lot of brokers do this, but a Wanda at the API level enables you to see the long and short positions in real time for market trend direction. That's how I can do really well um, with a momentum based uh, strategy or bot with uh, Oanda because of this. Um, in terms of other platforms that give you this, um, I know MetaTrader does not. More of the advanced platforms give you that capability, but a lot of them don't. Um, with, with the REST API, you do have access to that and working with it it's a little tricky, so I'm going to show you a demo how to use that. Um, I'm also going to demonstrate order execution. Uh, and lastly is to show you how to set up your token and secret keys to get everything working uh, for a live or a paper trading uh, account with a Wanda. Now, these are the sort of things that I would recommend that you guys would want to know to really take full advantage of this is um, I have the course, the Python Infrastructure Trading Course with Crypto. Um, in that, you can see I will be covering something like TA Lib, uh, working with the data uh, frames, which I cover as well in the course. Um, everything else is not covered in the course, but those two elements I would hopefully expect you to understand so that, um, you know, I don't have to reduplicate all that content for other, other people that have already taken it. So the other thing that will be very beneficial for you is just having a general understanding of Python programming. Um, obviously, this is not a course to learn about Python, but it will show you how to use the OANDA um, Python API. And it's pretty tricky to work with because it's two versions and it's pretty confusing to set up. Once you set it up, you're good to go, for, I won't say for life, but as long as the Wanda doesn't change from their version one to version two to now version three, you should be okay. Um, and if they do, everything breaks, but I think they'd be pretty stupid to do that, uh, considering all their customers that would have to go out and rewrite all their code, and they would probably lose a lot of customers in the process, so I don't think they would want to do that. Um, okay, so this is a logistics. So, um, the course will be three to five hours in length, depending upon attendees, question and answers, and engagement. Uh, two areas that you can get into the, in the workshop for next week 
is either sign up for the Python infrastructure course to attend, or if you're a current uh, student, uh, for the live only component. As I said, the live only is for that, um, and there will be a video playback available, but that's gonna be put into my Elite membership uh, for them so that they can get access to that forever and ever. And as I said, the course will take place on Tuesday, July 23rd, uh, in eight days. Uh, it will start at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, just so you know, I picked that time because everybody, you know, I got a whopping three, uh, 13 answers, but uh, there was a two-way trade uh, uh, tie between two, a Tuesday night or a Tuesday afternoon. So I went with Tuesday afternoon because hopefully I can uh, get some European uh, students out of that as well because if I do it at night, they miss out. I don't want to discount them. And usually for the Asian, they can get covered as well, but going into the night at their time. So that's pretty well it. Um, if you got any questions, let me know. I can definitely cover them for you right now. Um, if you got any other questions regarding just Python or trading or algo trading, just let me know and uh, I'll definitely uh, take them up. So if you guys have any questions, just ch ch chat them up in the, um, in the uh, chat box and uh, I can definitely do that. Otherwise, this will be the fastest and shortest presentation I've ever had. Anybody got any questions so far? I know I, I set this for last minute, but um, not yet. Okay, Paul, I, I can sit here and wait. Um, but the course is pretty straightforward. Um, and I will tell you there's two pieces that I have worried about in providing source code for, but there was enough demand for me to say, screw it, I'll do it. Um, but it's pretty costly to me to reveal the source code for that. And that is, uh, if you need to know, our, is topic one, data wrangling. That took me almost a couple of weeks, no, a couple of days to work through. So if I was to bill that out to somebody, it'd be worth a few thousand dollars just to, to, to translate the code from the REST API of the dictionary into a data frame in Python. And that took a lot of work. Once you get into that data frame, then it's easy to work with from the open, high, low, close. Uh, and then you can easily interface that into the uh, TA lib. So a lot of value from my point of view is the data wrangling um, and also just trying to navigate the stuff that OANDA provides is very confusing. So this will be a, a big, big, big time save for a lot of people. So um, let me just see what else there is. Yeah, and also the um, setting up the token and secret keys is another area that can be very, very confusing. There's like I don't know, three projects out there. There's other projects out there in books uh, using the OANDA API in Python. And as I said, if you're using version one, it is uh, obsolete and uh, won't work. So it, it, it is pretty confusing for a lot of people to go through. Uh, so hopefully I can navigate uh, that for newbies wanting to learn this stuff. And one of the benefits of Forex, I'm not a huge fan of OANDA, I'm not a huge fan of Forex, but in the last few days with crypto, with crypto getting into the double digit losses since Trump decided to say that crypto is no good, um, it's really crucial that you diversify out of just one asset class. Forex is, is pretty good for that. Um, I'm just testing right now a pair trading strategy that I'm using. Uh, and the nice thing, I, I said it, I think last week, is that um, with the pair trading uh, for Forex, uh, those pairs that you choose that show, show co-integration will stay on uh, as a pair that you can co-integrate and pair trade for, I'm looking at at least a month now, and just uh, another two pairs came about uh, in the last few days. Um, so it's a nice way to trade with pair trading between uh, a weak pair and a, and a well, she's like a weak pair, short, uh, a pair that you can shorten and a, and a pair you can long uh, collectively. And uh, I'll be live trading that pretty soon. Uh, same with the crypto as well. Um, but uh, right now I'm tracking 50% win ratio, at least with the crypto when, when the markets are right and still early on the pair trading. <clears throat> but uh, it seems to 
it has a lot of potential versus just momentum based trading because pair trading is mean reverting. So, um, but this course, this workshop will just focus on the mechanics of, of the API itself. Any, any other questions at all? So to join the 723, we, yeah, that's right, Paul. Um, unless you've taken it before, uh, I can easily work it out with you. Um, the price is 250 uh, For these kind of workshops, people pay in excess of $1,000. Um, but for me, where the value I get, it's just an extra bonus to get people signed up on the Elite. That's why I'm structuring it the way it is. But 250 for like probably four or five hours, it's... It is pretty cheap. It is a deal, um, especially on this kind of uh, coding. With it, and I forgot to mention, you do get source code as well. Uh, source code samples will be available um, in Python with Python 3, and it's pretty well up to date. I'm using it. I've been using it for with the OANDA for about six months. No problem so far. Um, in terms of... Uh, there is some powerful elements to OANDA, um, and as I keep saying, the only reason I support OANDA as a broker for Forex because half of my clientele are out of the U.S., and there's only, I think, only one broker that handles or supports uh, Python for uh, the U.S. is OANDA, and everyone else is uh, MetaTrader uh, or Interactive Brokers. So, and Interactive Brokers, the volume of Forex has dropped off in the last year. So, OAN has grown still. So, I do know that crypto is killing off the Forex um, market. Um, and uh, that's why it's better to diversify between the two. And eventually, I'm wanting to move into commodity trading because right now I'm watching uh, the markets uh, through either Interactive Brokers or, or uh stage five and using motive wave for that um because i think motive wave is just an like i'm just not utilizing the power of it so i like to focus on that for uh the new stuff and interfacing it with python through redis the database which i also cover in the python course so any other uh, questions at all um so if you want to get signed up all you got to do is um just so you know right now my blog has a nasty bug in it so if you go to quantlabs dot uh dot net just the main site as here and just go over to the store that link will take you where there's a menu uh a link for the python course right here um you click here for all Python courses because there's only one. And then you can sign up through that. And that's pretty well it. You just buy now and I'll give you a, a special link for the Zoom, which we'll do it via Zoom uh, on Tuesday. And I'm not sure how many people we'll have. Usually it can be three to five people. It's not many people. And I don't want too many people in it because um, people... Why? Well, like if, if there's not enough people, if there's too many people not paying attention to it, they'll ask to repeat certain pieces of the workshop over and over again, and it kind of, you know, <laughs> brings down the quality of the video playback. So I keep it limited to maybe five people or something. Um, but so far, I, I'm not sure how I'm going to do the sign up yet. But I'll probably start something tomorrow. And if you want to know all about that, just jump on the. Um, if you go into the uh, main site again uh, and just click on either hang on here. If you go to quantlabs again dot net and then just click on either uh, download a PDF for courses and it'll take you to a link uh, to you know sign up and then I'll announce it through that through the email. So that's pretty well it. Any other questions at all? If not, I can give it a wrap. So next week, uh, instead of me um, doing uh, a regular uh, webinar like I do every week, the course itself will replace that. 
uh, on Tuesday, and um, yeah, so we'll we'll go from there. Uh, so I'll, I'll I'll do a blast on this, and I'll I'll do my best to promote this as best as I can. So if you're interested, let me know. Uh, if you need my email, it's feedback at uh, quantlabs.net for my email. Alrighty. Any other questions at all? I don't think Paul has, if um, Edor has any questions at all. Um, no problem, dude. Hopefully I can see you online uh, as well as you, Paul, and whoever else may be watching this. Also, I forgot to mention is um, if you join, I, I always forget to mention this. I have my private chat server. Um, you get a lifetime access to that as well. I post a lot of my private stuff on there as, as well. I don't post as much stuff as I used to. All of it goes in the chat server. So, um, you know, there's a couple of people that go in and out on a, on a daily basis to check in and see what's going on. And there can be a lot of uh, research material that comes out of it as people help guide me. And one of the big ones that helped me uh, finesse uh, the pair training was done through the chat server. So you could have picked up the trading logic through that. And believe me, it's very valuable um, and very helpful. That's pretty well it. So if you guys got any questions, let me know. If not, I'll do it once, once, twice, three times, and then hopefully I'll see you next Tuesday. I may do another um, trading uh, webinar outside of the technology stuff. And um, oh yeah, go ahead, Paul, if you got a question. Got any other questions outside of this stuff? Oh, privately, you got my email. Um, just send an email to me, uh, feedback, uh, feedback at Quant Labs, and I'll, I'll get back to you on that. Does that work? Okay. And if need be, we can do another one-on-one -on -one, uh, Zoom session if you want as well. It's getting it pretty exciting uh, around here. Um, I'm going to be, uh, as I said, I've got the pair trading looking really good. The crypto new the new bots doing pretty good. Pretty happy with that. We talked about that last week as well. So um, it it has been holding about a fifty percent uh, trading win 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 loss ratio, which is really good. Uh, any other questions? If not, I'll give it a wrap. So we'll go do it once, going twice, I go in three times. Thanks guys for watching. And if you got any questions, just like I said, give me a holler via the email at feedback at quantlabs.net. And I shall talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching and uh, attending. See ya.